Hey there, Daily Dosers. My name is Jason Diaz, and I'm the worship pastor at our Rancho Bernardo campus. And we're talking about submission right now, and I'm excited to talk with you about that because I want to encourage you to put down the stone and take up the cross. Our passage for today comes from the book of Romans. We're going to look at chapter 12, uh, verses 17 through 21. It reads like this. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it's possible, as much as it depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. When I read this passage, I can't help but think, Paul, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. I mean, easier said than done, dude. You don't know my situation, right? But I've seen this played out in my life. Let me tell you a story. A while back when I was in high school, I went on a short-term missions trip down to uh, Ensenada in Baja, California. And some friends of mine went. We didn't have a lot of resources. It was just a small church thing. We went down, and our goal was just to help some kids there get healthy, enjoy a good meal, and, and play some soccer. And so we went down, and as we're there just hanging out with the kids, um, we're not there for a few minutes in the middle of a pickup game. And one of the guys in our group goes to score a goal. And as he's about to kick the ball, he grabs his head and suddenly just wincing in pain, he goes, ah, I think I just got pelted with something. And sure enough, he got hit with a rock in the head. It made no sense, just out of nowhere. And so I'm watching him, I'm frustrated for him because I wanna find whoever did that and I wanna pick up that stone and throw it right back at him. Justice needs to be served. But he grabs his head and he wipes the blood off of his brow. And his expression went from anger and frustration, confusion, to just a sense of peace and a smile. And he goes right back to kicking the ball around with those kids. I'm kind of confused by this. And as the day goes on, more kids start to join in on this game. And sure enough, one of the boys comes out from the shadows with a hoodie on. And it's warm out, and we're kicking the ball around, and we're going fast, and and so he takes his hoodie off. And as he takes it off, some stones fall from his pockets. And his eyes start to well up with fear because he knows that he's caught. And my friend walks over with a bandage on his head, and he's got this big bag of flaming Hot Cheetos just covered with Tapatio because that's how we roll in Latin culture. And... He takes it over to him and he goes, hey, I want you to try these. I bet you can't take the heat. And the boy is just stunned because for all intents and purposes, he deserves to be punished. But in this moment, he's being shown grace. And that day went from a day of just being a possible, uh, uh, just catastrophe and relationships broken and accusations thrown to suddenly a, a day of love and a bunch of sinners just enjoying some junk food together. It's a day I'll never forget. And I think there's a lesson in that for us because God is calling us to submit in the moments when we wanna pick up those stones and throw them right back. I'm not condoning that you get stoned literally and mercilessly and, and suffer that pain, but I am saying that maybe someone has thrown a proverbial stone at you. Maybe you've been hurt in a relationship or or by a friend or even by a spouse or or maybe just in the comment section and you want to pick up that stone and throw it as hard as you can. But God is calling us to live higher than that. He's calling us to submit. And in this passage, he's saying, overcome evil with good because that's what he did. That's what Jesus did. No matter what I've been through, no matter what you've been through, it just doesn't compare to the sufferings of Christ. And even if it kind of does, the Bible says that God knows about that too. In fact, he came down and dwelt as a man 
so that he would understand what we go through. And yet he did not falter through that. When I read this, I can't help but think, someday I'm going to stand before my Savior, and I'm going to have a hoodie on, and some stones are going to fall out. But he's going to wrap me up in his arms, and he's going to say, I love you. Welcome home. That's what we get when we submit. That's what we get when we practice grace. And that's what we get when we realize what true love is all about. Thanks for listening, Daily Dosers. Have a great rest of your week.